Oh, welcome, dear friends. We are going to do a very interesting tarot reading. So I pulled a few cards to find out what is going on with the collective conscious. Now, I want you to understand that the tarot, T-A-R-O-T, is actually Torah. Torah backwards. What is the Torah? The Torah is the first five books of the Bible. But in Jewish mysticism, Kabbalah, we understand that the Torah is a cosmic code and that it is not literal, but it is a code to the understanding of our soul and the cosmic consciousness. What you read in English is not necessarily what it's all about. It's a lot deeper than that. And in the age of Aquarius, we finally understand through the process of connecting and going through the tree of life, what was revealed to us by the Kabbalists, the true understanding of this secret cosmic code. Okay, so... What we have here is the Ten of Wands. You could be sexually frustrated. You could have a lot of gifts that you are probably not using, right? And if you don't use the gifts that you have, what happens? Well, it becomes a burden, your life, because you're not using the gifts to the best of your ability. And also, what also might happen is being too humble is never a good thing because it stops you from really um, getting ahead in life, right? So this is something that you have to sort of unclog yourself from, right? And um, I'll tell you how to do that. And what's interesting about the tarot is that usually, you know, we would read left to right, but there's no right or wrong way to read the tarot in direction and order, right? But because we are dealing with it on its cosmic code level, um, this is Yud. The power of Yud is what activates the Ten of Wands. The power of He is what activates the Five of Swords and the Vav He is for the Page of Swords. So now what's interesting with the Five of Swords, I'm gonna show you something very interesting of an example. The Five of Swords is, let's say you have an enemy who's been trying to push you into being a failure, could be someone at work. Uh, many people want to uh, see you and with your downfall, right? And they think that they will be able to have the best um, of you, right? But with the Five of Swords, it shows us that there could be this built-up anger in Gavura, which is the left hand of God, right? Um, so with the Mars energy, we're able to triumph over our enemies and so it's okay to take that anger and frustration and channel it into something that can be beneficial. And the way how this can happen, for instance, Leonardo da Vinci was given marble alabaster stone, but it was a cut of marble alabaster stone that he felt was impossible to work with and no one could possibly create anything from it. Um, with such a size and piece of it. And his enemy, Michelangelo, took that stone and carved it into a timeless masterpiece, which is King David, um, that is put on display here for centuries. Um, and, you know, people love it. It is um, pretty much priceless, right? And um, that's the gift that he left us. And you could imagine the smile on Michelangelo's face um, looking at Leonardo, like, oh, I finally sticked it to you, right? And <laughs> so, you know, but 
you see, what's also interesting is that sometimes standing up for yourself can be a challenge. It can also lead to a downfall. And you want to actually be wary of negative energies uh, that try to get the best of you. And there are certain sacrifices that you have to make in order um, to get to where you want to be financially as well. Right. And so uh, don't think that if you go down this route that, you know, it's not helpful. Right. Because it does lead to the Queen of Wands. Right. And the reason why we go through this test is, number one, because it's all about transformation, transformation of the soul. And um, it's sort of like you get your wings if you see this in the picture. Right. So there's multiple levels of um messages that we get from what's going on now with the collective conscious. And so this was spelled out. The reason why I felt it was very important to read this from right to left and not left to right is because of the Hebrew letters. Yud, He, Vav, He spells out Yehovah, the four letter name of God, which is the Tetragrammaton. Right. This name is the number one name used throughout the Hebrew Bible. And what's so interesting about this is that although it's not really used, it's replaced by Adonai. We understand that if we separate the Yud, we get Chava. Chava is Eve, the mother of us all. Chava also represents the divine feminine aspect of the creator, the Shekinah, the queen of heaven, right? So that's the divine mother. And then we have the divine father. Pause. I got paused. I don't know why. But anyway, um, so we want to connect to the light and we want to activate the consciousness within us, the power of our soul. And so this will keep us balanced and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, and it's very, very uh, simple. And what we do is we focus on the letter Yud, right? So repeat after me. Yud, He, Vav, He. Yud, He, Vav, He. Yud, He, Vav. Hey. So that's how you pronounce it, right? So we just chanted it. But what we're going to do now is we are going to close our eyes. And you can either listen along or you can follow after what I say. So close your eyes and take a deep breath with me. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Chant you. Okay. Breathe in. Chant hey. Breathe in. Chant va. Chant hey. Imagine that a white light comes straight down from the heavens over your head and it's going through your head, your neck, going through your shoulders, your arms and fingers to the stomach area, going all the way down into your innermost sacred parts, going through the back, the legs, the knees, the feet, and the toes, and this white light comes out and goes deep into the earth. And now we are connected to Malkut. Now, what we do is we call forth Archangel Metatron. And Archangel Metatron is here and I'm going to give you the opportunity to speak to Archangel Metatron. We thank you, Archangel Metatron, for being here. 
and you can tell Archangel Metatron anything that you need help with to be able to get through with what it is that you're trying to do. So I'll be silent for a little bit. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Um, so at this point, um, what we're going to do is we are going to chant yud heh vav -Hey again so that we can seal everything that we asked for. So for anyone who just came on, we are connecting to the cosmic forces of the universe, the light of God through his name in Hebrew. This is Yud, this is He, and this is the letter Vav and the letter He. This spells out Yehovah. You've probably heard it spell Yahweh. It is not usually used. Most people will say Adonai. But for um, purposes here, um, it's very important that we integrate the name of God within us to activate the power of our soul, our consciousness, and to be able to unblock certain things. So this time, what we're going to do is I'm just going to chant it so you can remember the letter. Yud, He, Vav, He. Yud, He, Vav, He. Yud, He, Vav. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is imagine that the letter Yud is going above your head and going down into your body. And that light is coming out of that letter Yud. So try your best to imagine that. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you want, you can, um, if you know the Hebrew letters. If you don't, just focus on this letter. So we're going to take a deep breath, breathe out, and chant the letter Yud and imagine it going over your head into your body. Breathe in again. Yud. Okay, now imagine the letter He going over your head and into your body. Deep breathe in, breathe out, breathe in again, and chant, hey. Breathe in again, breathe out, breathe in again, and imagine the Vav going over your head and into your body. Vav. Last letter. Breathe in again. Breathe out. Imagine letter H going over your head and into your body. Breathe in. And chant. H. And that's it. This is how you activate parts of your subconscious realms because um, we understand that this is also encoded in our DNA. And um, if you do this for 30 days, you will definitely see a big difference. Anytime you feel creative block, um, you feel that your uh, prayers are not being answered, um, anything that you sort of want to bring light to, there's any darkness around you, uh, chanting uh, this letter name of God is very powerful. Now, it's interesting because in the Kabbalah, we understand encoded in the book of Shemot, which is the book of Exodus, there are coded names of God about 72, which connects to about 72 angels as well. 
and um, each name um, does some sort of um, frequency for certain things that needs to be done. Um, for instance, for healing, we would meditate on the letters Mem Hei Shin. And Mem, the letter Mem, is connected to the feminine... Yeah, I keep getting paused for some reason. Um, yeah, so Mem is connected to the feminine waters, um, the primordial water, the feminine aspect of God. Um, it's very healing. And, you know, there's a lot more to that. And um, there's also for money, um, many other things, right? But yud heh uh incorporates so much um, that you can ask for anything um, with this chant, right? So I hope this uh, is helpful for you. And I will leave this up and um, you can rewind, watch again. And like I said, try this for 30 days and let me know how it goes. Enjoy.